Following last week's meeting, I felt it necessary to come and speak to you tonight. I have a letter for each and every one of you, but I would like to read it aloud so the public can hear what I have to say as well. After regretfully watching last week's selectmen's meeting on the day after, I would like to take this opportunity to inform you and the residents of Hampton of the events preceding last week's meeting so that you, you and the residents will have a clear view of the truth. I truly believe you are all having a discussion based on the information you had at the time and that you were denied certain information that may give you a different view of the request in question. On August 9th, I met with Chairman Bridal to discuss a management issue that I, that I was and still am having and to get the request and to request the assistance of the Board of Selectmen in order to resolve the issue. After describing the issue in full detail, Chairman Bridal was verbally in full agreement that this issue needed to be addressed and resolved, and he suggested a non-public session with the Selectmen in order for you to receive the details directly from me. He suggested that I meet with you in non-public session on Monday, August 13th. I advised Chairman Bridal at that time that I would be out of town that evening but that I could be available to the next selectman's meeting on Monday, August 27th. He advised me that he would schedule the non-public meeting for that date, and I had no reason to believe otherwise. At no time did Selectman Bridal advise me to put the request in writing, nor have I ever been required to put, it in, put, to put in writing a request to meet with this or any prior board. On Thursday, August 23rd, just four days before the August 27th meeting, and not having heard back from Chairman Bridal confirming the meeting, I asked him if we were all set for Monday night. Chairman Bridal responded by saying, oh, yeah, no. I couldn't get the votes of the rest of the board to meet and discuss the issue, so there will be no meeting. As you can imagine, I was less than happy, insulted, and appalled as another elected official to be denied the opportunity to meet with the board to discuss what I felt was a very important issue within my department, which would ultimately negatively and directly affect the residents and voters of this town. On Wednesday, September 12th, I was approached by Selectwoman Barnes, who advised me that she had just learned from a resident that I had been denied a meeting with the Board of Selectmen and that she knew nothing about it. The next day, Selectman Woolsey visited my office asking questions and advised me that she too knew nothing about the meeting request. This prompted me to wonder if Selectman Waddell and Selectman Griffin were aware, but at this point it didn't matter because the denial and refusal to provide me with the tools to do my job efficiently and effectively was the straw that broke the camel's back of my 21-year respectful, hardworking, and loyal tenure here with the town of Hampton. I wonder how a board can be against a meeting with another elected official without the entire board being aware of it. It saddens me to realize that those of you who made extensive comment about the issue last week not only did not have a clear understanding of the truth, but you did not even make an attempt to contact me to inform me that I would be discussed in public at the meeting so that I could be present and to get a clear understanding of what really happened. What saddens me even more than that is that I am spending my very last selectmen's meeting feeling the need to defend myself. I can op only hope that surely upon my retirement will be afforded the opportunity to be heard regardless of the topic. Anybody else from the public would like to speak? Um, I just want to go over this uh, one time once again because um, I want to mention that we have the department heads come here on a regular basis mm -hmm. uh, they have a schedule of when they come um, and I want to also say that I have seen particularly in all the time I've been here scores if not hundreds of department heads put it in writing to be on the agenda it comes in our packets all the time and most importantly if you want to make sure that all of the selectmen are going to know that you've uh, gotten in contact you definitely need to put it in writing because once you put it in writing by Wednesday at five o'clock it goes um, to
to the uh, chairman and it goes in our packets in the, uh, the little mail slots that we have and it <coughs> goes electronically on the web pages on our websites for all of us to see and for all of us to be aware and we wouldn't have uh, the problem that evidently there's some type of a problem or a misunderstanding here uh, and you know I want to thank Jane for all that she's done but there's nothing was done differently if you go on writing it would have everyone would have known about it and many people put it in I see it every week there's people that ask to be on the agenda and that's the way it's always been the whole time I've been here for the last 14 years okay thank you you're welcome